Breaking crypto news, crypto crash edition. $500 billion plunge, largest three-day wipeout for crypto in a year. The last time crypto sold off this sharply over a three-day period was in mid-August 2023. So last time we had this big of a meltdown was back here. Look at what happened after that. It was just an incredible buying opportunity because the total crypto market cap went from $1 trillion to $2.6 trillion, right? These sell-offs are absolutely crucial in the crypto space and they're generally short term and it's not just crypto because the because dow futures slide more than 300 points after nasdaq falls into a correction this is the chart of the nasdaq dipping right so it's all perfectly correlated there's nothing wrong with crypto or other high quality tech assets they're just selling off right Mr. Market is being irrational. It's always irrational when interest rates are this high. So what happens every single time interest rates are this high, right? This is the effective federal funds interest rate. This is where we are now. This is where we were right before the COVID crash. Bitcoin went from 3K to 69K. Once this line fell, this is where we were in the great financial crisis. The stock market rallied massively after this line fell. And so this this is the history of U.S. financial market. It's all correlated by interest rates, which are the oxygen of the financial system. So whenever interest rates are this high, we have a stock market collapse. Now, crypto is the stock market on steroids, so it's way more volatile and way more scary. But what we do know is when this line falls, which it does in election season, crypto and obviously stocks rally. So where is Bitcoin on the rainbow price chart indicator, it's in the blue zone. Look at every single other time in Bitcoin's history that it's been in the blue zone. It's been a massive buying opportunity. So we just stay on top of the long-term fundamentals and take advantage when high quality assets go on deep discount.